Let's return to San Juan Capistrano, California to the Mark Morton collection. A 1927 Stutz, uh, not a Ford, not a Chevy, uh, kind of a little bit different for, for the collection here. Yeah, uh, I love classics and this is one that I'd had my eye on for a long time and I actu actually fell into the acquaintance of its owner in a hot rod curriculum. And it turned out that he owned this Stutz that I'd been admiring at this meet I go to every year. And I explained to him that I had to own it if he ever wanted to be done with it. And that day finally came. When you drive a late model, or say a, a late 20s Ford that's stock, and you drive a late model Stutz that's stock, is, is, is there a real apparent difference to you? I mean, can you tell you're driving something that was upscale back then? Yes, and it, that, that's a, a great analogy because this is a 27 Stutz, the same year they made the last Model T, like those cars over there. And this is a single overhead cam, straight eight, with dual ignition, 16 spark plugs, two distributors. It has nine main bearings in that straight eight engine, and it's a spectacular car. And it's the advancement and the craft put into these big cars is, is the reason that people cherish classics these days. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's so neat about the older, you know, upscale cars, the real pricey cars from back then, is they all seem to have, they really got into their radiator cap emblems, and, and this is an interesting one. What's, what's this about? Well, that mascot, I'm told, uh, is a product of the buzz in the 20s about the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb. And people were pretty Egypt and, and tut crazy, so they went to an artist, I guess for, uh, probably Fred Moscovich, who was running Stutz about 1925, commissioned an artist to do this for a, for a mascot for the cars. And it stayed such through the end of Stutz. But the, the thing that bemuses me is that none of the historians have pointed out that if you block off these letters, the center words in the name Stutz are tut. Yeah. And I wonder if someone wasn't driven by that. Ah, huh. well, it's a, a good fit there. Mm -hmm.